Firehouse Play here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a couple base attack reviews. And uh, this is going to be focused on the conduit building. Uh, some people try to avoid the conduit building. Um, however, it really depends on where it's placed and how many attack buildings the conduit building is touching. Um, for my first review, you're going to see this base here. The conduit building is to the left side and it's only touching two offensive buildings and so what I decided to do is I was able to pick off this portal with my dragon to the east without being attacked so my plan is I'm gonna deploy my entire army right where that portal is um, and that's gonna allow me to be able to break right into this base on the other side of where the conduit is um, so as you can see here um, my army is doing fairly well, and as you can see right here, my dragon is flying over. And again, you know, it's always best to try to have two flyovers with your dragon. And as you see right there, my dragon died right after its second flyover. Um, but of course, going back to the conduit, the conduit is on the other side of the base. Um, even though the spreader is on this side, the spreaders don't, I don't really care too much about the spreaders. You know, the biggest thing for me, obviously, is to get to the stronghold. Uh, whichever access point gives me the quickest access to the stronghold is typically the one I'll take. Um, this one just in particular, it was easy for me to deploy on the east as opposed to the west. And it just so happens that the conduit building was on the west side. Um, this base isn't very well built, uh, particularly because there's, there were only two offensive buildings touching the conduit building. If you're going to have the conduit building, you should have four offensive attacks buildings t touching the conduit else you're it's 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 a bit of a waste um so that was the first one now this next one here i'm actually attacking the base on the conduit side and i'm going to show you why um and i believe this was another 100 percent attack right here the conduit's at the top north uh top north the north and i'm starting off with my dragon again okay giving it time to build up time so it has two passes uh but I believe in this one, I screwed up. I was not aware. I think I took my eyes off the screen and uh, my dragon actually died. But you know what? Just with any RTS game, you can't really lose your composure. Um, as you're about to see right here, I thought my dragon would be able to take out that left gold storage and still be okay. So I think I sort of left, my eyes went off the screen. As you can see right here, my dragon's getting shot down. I did not realize it, but I did. as soon as I did, I placed down my soldiers, my range. And uh, they're going to appear right here, and I'm going to try to take out that barrack. As soon as I do that, I deploy my army. Um, now, without two flyovers, I was a little weary. I wasn't sure if I was going to be, be able to get to the stronghold. But as you can see right here, the conduit is so close to the stronghold, and the, 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 the stronghold is in the same compartment as the exterior wall which makes it really easy i mean if you if you notice how quickly that stronghold dropped so you know comparing this base to the previous base i just attacked you know when you're looking at a base like this it, it can look intimidating what's important to look at is where the stronghold is and what the path of least resistance is if that path is where the conduit building is then take that path now for me if i was to attack this base from the south I would find I would have much more issues because of those three cannons and the fact that I would have to clear out all those buildings with high amount of health. Now, now the fun part about this ending is this is a double TKO ending and I haven't had this type of ending yet. But uh, I have three troops left and there's one cannon sitting up there just sniping away and I had one troop still alive and right here I dropped down a double damage spell. That's why the cannon's gr green and red. And right here, it's all oh, there. Look at that double TKO. And so my entire army died. However, I still was able to destroy the entire building. I mean, entire base. That concludes my uh, two reviews of uh, base attacks focusing on the conduit building. Um, just FYI, this is the ancient I typically use. Uh, she, she has three great spells. The first one is a plague. Uh, the second one, she raises three undead troops, and the last one is called Double D 
damage, which I love. I use double damage throughout my entire attacks. Uh, she's fantastic. I, I use her probably about 70% of the time. All right, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching.